Hey guys, I just want to make a video of a YouTuber named Sacramento Love. So, first off, I want to say I'm not exposing any hate of this person. Um, I think overall they have a good YouTube channel. Like they do mention some important uh, topics regarding the um, Xbox community and moderators and regarding people who hack um, Xbox games. So, um, I am mainly against people who hack Xbox games to like ruin the games, but at, at the same time, I'm not against people who hack it to do fun stuff. Um, I guess it's still against like you know the the, the rules and regulations, but still like if you're hacking to like have fun with it. Um, there's a big difference of doing that rather than hacking a game to kind of ruin it. Like where you're spawn trapping people and instantly killing them. That that's not fun. That's just that's just you know ruining the game. But doing cool stuff um, with the mod menu can be pretty fun. So um, there's different kind of hackers. Not all not all hackers are bad hackers. So this is someone who exposes those type of um, hackers, and they also try. Yeah, I mean they had their I guess fair run uh, with the Xbox moderators. Um, they've been banned multiple times and all that kind of stuff. So I guess uh, most or all Xbox moderators probably knows this person. Um, <laughs> so I kind of want to expose this person. It's not like in a really really bad way, but it is something I just wanted to discuss. So this is someone I say I watch since like. I was to say like 20,000 subscribers. Maybe this was like a year ago or like 10 months ago. I think around that time. But they've been growing pretty fast. They're at 62,000 subscribers. So this person has been growing pretty fast. And the videos aren't like too bad. It's mainly just like a lot of rants and things that happen to this person regarding their S bots. So we can just scroll down right here and see the videos. So it's right here. Um, Mission Dog One. These are the popular videos. And I kind of wanted to just like address one thing in particular because it kind of like bothers me in a way but you see most of the videos are like with s bots like hackers on like old xbox 360 games kind of like ruining the game and like abusing it because the xbox moderate well the call of duty moderators and all that they aren't on these games anymore the, like on like newer games like newer call of duty it's not like black ops 2 don't get me wrong black ops 2 is my favorite call of duties that's, uh, that's definitely up there with like one for three and all those games but still i mean it's it's an old game so the monitors aren't watching it and that's why there's a bunch of hackers on those games so one of the big things this guy does is expose like hackers like i said on that spots which is a good thing um i can't lie because a lot of hackers do run a game for other people but um unfortunately um he kind of goes against his own words which is why i'm kind of exposing him so you see most of his videos are like ranting and, you know, reporting hackers and, you know, wasting their time, which I'm all for, you know, especially for, well, for hackers that ruined the game, 100% for that. Uh, for example, there's people, like, I think he had, it was like his recent video I was watching, um, let's see, we go right here, this video right here, he actually has, like, a friend, and um, she has a JTAG, and she actually, like, booted off, or, like, yeah, pretty much was, like, attacking hackers in a way, so it was kind of, like, good, because... You know, I think people who ruin the game deserve to be booed off and, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, so, you know, you can use, my, my point is you can use hacking for good other than just bad. So you think of a hacker, you think of like, oh, this person's bad, but no, there's, there's good hackers. Like, there's hackers in the FBI, but they're supposed to be at least, but they're good hackers. You know, they're hackers that protect people and protect companies and all that. Um, and hackers that try to get, you know, bad people, right, and criminals and and all that kind of stuff. So there's a good and bad hacking, I guess you can say. Uh, but yeah, so why I'm making a video on this person, right? Let me get to that point. So the main thing is <clears throat> one of their, of course, top videos, um, which of course it would be. But if you look at his video, okay, well, what's wrong with videos? Xbox hacker, hacker, bunch of hackers, and all that kind of stuff. But if you look at this one right here, how to get Black Ops 2 Zombies Mod Menu Theater Mode at Treyarch, please patch this. So it wasn't like he's complaining about it and then, you know, please patch this. He, he kind of does complain a lot about it. He kind of goes overboard. If you actually watch the video, he kind of like, he's acting like these pe these modders, people who use mod menus, like, killed his family. Like, it's kind of like Eshra, the way he, like, he's very aggressive towards his people. But he shows people, like you said, look at the title, how to get Black Ops 2 Zombies mod menu. So I guess you can argue saying who he's trying to show people how to get them. It's kind of obvious how you get them. But... He's obviously doing this video for clout and for views, which I get it. Like, everyone does that. Everyone does certain videos to get views. But what bothers me is this person, not, that's not like it's only one video, but, 
you know, they devoted a whole channel pretty much to stopping hackers, reporting hackers, preventing hackers, you know, going out of their way to waste their time for hours and hours a day, even like all day sometimes. And they fo- he follows these hackers and, you know, wastes their time. He goes to that spot's moderators and reports them, right? So he goes, he goes above and beyond to get rid of these hackers, but then he's making videos or making a video at least of him on how to get the mod menu, <laughs> which makes no sense at all. This is his fourth most popular video. So of course when you do like how to get a mod menu or how to hack a game, of course you can get a lot of views. He knows that. That's why he made this video because of Cloud. He wanted to get a lot of views. So it that just really irks me that, you know, it's like me saying, I hate jailbreaking. Jailbreaking is so bad. It don't ever do it. And then like my whole channel, it wasn't like I said that one time, whatever, but imagine my whole channel, like hundreds of videos of how I hate jailbreaking, how bad jailbreaking is, on how against jailbreaking I am. But then I make a video on how to jailbreak. <laughs> like, you know, it just doesn't make any sense. I get it. Like, you know, we do even like that specifically how to jailbreak. Those get a lot of views. But they're kind of somewhat against YouTube's terms of service, so that's why I stopped making those type of videos. But and also, I'm not against jailbreaking. I'm, if anything, I'm for jailbreaking 100. I love jailbreaking; it's awesome, and you can bring so much cool features. Um, but yeah, um, so I just wanted to like kind of expose this person. Like, I think they're a great YouTuber, but you know, when someone does say something and or they're not a person, I'm not gonna say man of their word because women are capable too of. <laughs> Of what they say but if they're not a person of their word and then they you know preach what you do preach what you say right like you don't just act a certain way and, and say something else or vice versa because that's that that nobody likes that nobody likes fake people um i'm not saying it's fake i mean it's just it was one video obviously but still like why are you making a video on how to get a mod menu when your whole channel is towards those mod menus and then it doesn't make sense because during this whole video if you watch it he's ranting about how much he hates mod menus and you know, it's just like, why are you making this video if you're still against mod menus? Why are you showing people how to get a mod menu? So that's really it. I mean, I, I keep repeating what I'm saying, but it just really hurts me. All right, and lastly, before I ask you in the video, I just want to go over some comments on that video. Um, I thought it was pretty interesting. <clears throat> so, fortunately, use this uh, custom matches, not public matches. So, yeah, okay. Um, okay, so we scroll down here. <clears throat> you can see some of the videos like this actually my I mean the comments my comment I said goes cra- goes crazy about how bad this is and how you shouldn't do it but mates and continues the video on showing us on how to do it it's actually faker just to get views this was 10 months ago so this isn't something like new how I felt about this person I, like I said I've been watching this person for quite some time um you see some of the comments bro it's acting like these zombies modders killed his family because he was going off of me people I don't remember zombie monitors being annoying they honestly did more fun stuff for everyone in the lobby which is true it's usually multiplayer people that like ruin the game not zombie modders because they usually make the game more funner and they give people like points and make their round 999 and it, it makes it fun if anything right it makes it diff- it's definitely different than the casual play round one two three you know it takes forever but you definitely have more fun with zombie mod, mod menus um i gotta say like multiplayer mod menus like abusing it which is different but he's a zombie mod menu when you're all on the same team and the zombies are bots like who you really hurting at that point <laughs> Um, you could still be annoying, but still, like, it's not that in the world, just leave the game, join again. I mean, join a different game um, on Zombies. But also, I, I did want to mention that I did make, um, I did actually use this mod menu um, to actually, like, one of my friends, well, old, old friends, used to be really bad, still is bad at Zombies, so I would download the mod menu to, like, spawn Zombies in to help her, like, get better. That's why I used it for, and I, I would use it, you know, to get different guns and all that, but it was just me and her that played. It wasn't, like, anything, like, playing online or competitive not, not, that's not even a thing but you know i didn't abuse it i just used it for fun please patch this you're asking them that fits in the bandy game which is true you know this game is very old this game is like 10 15 years old i think it's like up 12 years old or something like that um uh, it's the people that do the multiplayer mods that deserve to be sure not the zombies modded uh they are harmless which is true this game the guy gave his life story about how they ruined um killed his dog be his on <laughs> Uh, I love how he's complaining about the mods, but he's also showing us how to do it. Exactly true. So yeah, um, that's really it. I just want to, you know, pretty much ran and just expose this person. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.